Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A54 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this device. Now to get started, you can select start and then you want to find your desired language from the list of the visible languages right here. Obviously if you're sticking with English, it should be probably selected by default. We can go to the next page and this will tell us that we can connect to mobile network by inserting a SIM card. Now this is completely optional and you don't have to do it, uh, but the device does require uh, internet connection, that be through mobile network or through Wi-Fi, when you're setting it up for the very first time. Meaning when you unbox the device fully like brand new, you need to connect to network for no freaking reason. And from there, you also will need to reboot the device once you connect to network. Something that I will not need to do, so I can skip both of these steps. I will still connect to network just to simulate basically as close of an experience of what you will see uh, as possible. So anyway, I'm gonna select next here. From here we have, uh, for your review, so we have, uh, I agree to end user license agreement. Obviously you have no choice but to agree to it if you want to use your device. You can tap on details to read exactly what you are agreeing to. But obviously, probably as most of us do, we're just never gonna open that up and select that we agree. And from there we can uh, go to next page by selecting agree. Now, keep in mind that the two other ones, the, uh, what is it, sending a diagnostic data, that's optional and that's also optional. Now from here, set up using another device. So this would allow you to uh, use the Samsung clone application. I'm not exactly sure what they use. Let me quickly check, maybe I can quickly find it. No, I can't. Uh, so I was checking on my phone what the app name is because this will require you to open up uh, basically the same kind of app. Now you can do this on different devices. If you have a non-Samsung device, you can download their Samsung application for cloning the device uh, through Play Store. And then you will just connect these two devices together after you grant access to all the required things like storages, cameras, contacts, and messages, and so on. Uh, and from there, you will be able to select what kind of data you want to move over to this device. Scan a code, uh, well, first you're gonna scan a code that it appears, then select what you want to move over, and it will then begin moving over. Now, the more data you want to move, the longer this will take, but if you're moving just like a gigabyte or so, it will take probably less than a minute. Obviously, if you don't want to move over any kind of data and set up this device as a new one, just select skip. This will then take us to the Wi-Fi connection page. So I have the skip option because this device has already been initially set up uh, prior to this video so i already had to reboot it and do all that stuff but like i said i'm going to connect to my network just to simulate as close of an experience as possible so there we go now once you connect to it it will tell you that you need to reboot the device do so and once it reboots turns back on uh, it should i believe start from wi-fi page but i could be incorrect about that one if you're a little bit uh back in the setup like a little bit earlier to it then progress through it till you get back to your wi-fi and then the next page here we have some connect to mobile network now not exactly sure why it's asking us to do so again uh when we already had this pop-up right at the beginning of our setup so I'm gonna skip again, yeah. Now we just need to give it a little bit of time, so getting your phone ready. Now next thing uh, that we will see is another, I believe, method of uh, moving over the data. Uh, but this time around, previous one was from Samsung, and this one will be from Google itself. There we go, copy apps and data, like I mentioned. So this is a Google version of it through Google account. 
uh, but you don't obviously have to do this again you can select don't copy if you want to set up your device as new and in general i think uh samsung uh, variant will be a little bit better because it gives you more control over the things that it can copy over the google one which basically uh uses the google account uh, if you ever went into the google account uh, and there you have basically selected check checkboxes for things that it syncs to the Google account, like contacts, messages, applications, and so on. And when you log in, it will try to pull all these this data from the cloud and then put it on your device. So in general, Samsung version with their proprietary application will be a little bit better, faster uh, than the Google one. Now, moving on, uh, here we have just a option to sign into our Google account, which I'll be skipping. Obviously, you can sign in if you want to. Next, we have some Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, you can disable some of them if you don't want them. You can also tap on a drop down to read exactly what these do, and if something doesn't really fit your standards, you can, like I said, turn it off. From there, let's go to the bottom, select accept. Choose your search engine. So obviously select whichever one you prefer. I'm gonna go with the default one, which is Google. Protect your phone. Here you can set up uh, several different methods of protecting your device. Now, obviously the default one, and the one that you will be forced to select no matter uh, if you want to, well, actually no, no matter. Uh, if you're planning to use any uh, other method like fingerprint or face recognition, you are always going to be forced to set up a physical way of unlocking the device. So these physical methods will be pin, pattern, or password. Obviously you can select, select just pin pattern or password without adding uh, fingerprint or face recognition, but for the uh, fingerprint and face recognition, these are methods that might vary in success. So as an example, if you get beat up, uh, face recognition probably will not work for you. Uh, same as if you cut your finger, as an example, uh, you would lose access to your device. That's why the, the phone is forcing you to also have uh, things like pin pattern or password. So if something happens to your finger, you can just pop in your pattern as an example. Now, obviously, if you don't want to protect your device at all, that's fine, though I wouldn't recommend it. But if you don't, you can select skip right over here and then select skip anyway. I'll be selecting a pattern here. So there we go, pattern. Oops. So I'm just gonna put in twice and there we go. And it's good to go. Now here we have some uh, review additional apps, uh, so just some trash applications that might come or you can have installed. Uh, honestly, if you're not planning to use most of them, I would probably select them. Uh, from personal experience, the ones that I have used would be things like the Galaxy Wearable, which allows you to connect things like your Galaxy Buds as an example, if you have these little guys, uh, and also uh, Samsung watches. Then another thing that I do want is a calculator because there is no other calculator application right here. So I'm just going to stick with this one. And we have a couple additional ones, preferential like clock, uh, which I would also enable myself as an, just to clarify this. Spotify, probably most of you will want if you don't use uh, things like YouTube music or something like, something like that. So you probably would want Spotify, maybe voice recorder if you want that. Uh, but like I said, most of this is preferential, so select whatever you think you will need. From there, click on OK. And we should be right about done, or very close to it. Get recommended apps. Uh, Disney Plus, can I not get it? That would be fantastic. Apparently, I can not not get it. Okay, that's unfortunate. Now, next thing is we have our Samsung account, so it's look like we still have a couple steps before the end. So here we can log into a Samsung account if you have one. If you don't, uh, then obviously you can create one if you want. Uh, so there we go, create account. Uh, I'm gonna select skip, uh, which also brings up this uh, laundry, a list of different things that you have access to from the Samsung account. But I'll be very critical of this and kind of just crap on this just because most of these options are a copy of whatever Google already offers. Now some of these things have been removed from this device to make Samsung account look more appealing which again is just an absolute scam 
Uh, but just to quickly go into several of these options and just make you understand this. So we have Samsung Cloud, which is uh, a plagiaristic copy of Google uh, Cloud. Uh, then we have Bixby, Hey Google, uh, Galaxy Teams, Entire Play Store, Find My Mobile, Find My Device, which has been removed from this device, I think. Uh, Samsung Pass, uh, Google Passwords, uh, which you can access to basically going into your Google account or uh, Chrome. Uh, Galaxy Store, again, the entirety of a Play Store. Secure Folder, that's one of those things that actually might be just unique to this device uh, and probably a little bit more secure than some other methods uh, because it's using the uh, quotation mark Knox security. I'm not a hacker or anything like that, so I have no idea how secure that actually is. And last is Samsung Members, which is a new one and I have no actual idea what it actually is. So uh, expert support, community, kind of whatever. So it's just more ball crap. Okay, so like I mentioned, probably the only thing that you have that well, no one else has is the secure folder, though most of the other manufacturers uh, have this option as a secure folder or some kind of variant of this on their devices. So Huawei has their own, uh, I know for a fact because it was my previous device, um, so it's not like it's unique. Now, the unique part is other phones don't really need a account to use a secure folder because that's just effing stupid. But Samsung is special. So, uh, to just abbreviate this, uh, this is just a, a list of things that, that Samsung tries to make you feel like you're gonna miss out on while well, they're basically all plagiarized copy of Google and you could just go on your merry way without ever using a Samsung account and still have basically almost the fullest experience of this device. Now, there will be a couple uh, things that Samsung offers uh, in their Galaxy Store that you can that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So I want to mention that. But if you aren't the person that fiddles around with your device and installs some like uh, kind of test applications, uh, changes that, that could just change how your device uh, functions or looks, then obviously you won't feel any kind of difference between using and not using a Samsung account. So I'm going to select skip. Now we have Samsung services. So basically what Google did, but it's from Samsung. Samsung also wants your data. Uh, community services, uh, we have customizations or whatever. And that sounds like absolute BS. Uh, nearby device scanning. Now I believe this is, I could be wrong. Uh, help you connect to nearby wearable devices, mobile accessories, and smart home devices. It also could work with the uh, little Samsung tags uh, that they have, basically the copy of what uh, Apple has, uh, which might need this to be enabled. So this will then use your device for scanning for tags and then giving other people access to, like if their tag has, for instance, they have a tag in their luggage, the luggage gets lost, uh, and you're near that luggage, it will then let them know where that luggage is because of you in a way. So you're kind of helping others, which is a, something that I would probably keep on just because it helps other people and builds the ecosystem that allows you to find your uh, things that you might have lost. And anyway, we're moving on to the next page. We have just light and dark mode, which is whichever one you prefer. And that finishes it up. So select finish. Well, apparently we're not finished just yet. Discover and install great apps. I guess you can select continue. I'm gonna select later. And yes. And there we go. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.